How to round any number to the nearest 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and more. Taught by Miss B. This is the rhyme that I use when rounding. Circle your number, look next door, five or greater, add one more. Numbers on the left stay the same, numbers on the right, zero is your name. In this video I'm going to show you how to use this rhyme to help you round numbers. Rounding to the nearest ten. First, let's look at the number 47. Because we're rounding to the nearest ten, we need to circle our tens column. Thinking back to my rhyme, it says, circle your number, look next door. So I need to look next door to the number I've circled, and that is our seven. Five or greater, add one more. Seven is five or greater, so I must add one more to my four. I'm adding one to my tens column. So now my, in my tens column, I have a five. Numbers on the left stay the same. I don't have any numbers on the left, so I don't need to worry about that. Numbers on the right, zero is your name. So a seven turns into a zero. So 47 rounded to the nearest 10 is 50. Let's take a look at another number. If we had 135, and I'm rounding to the nearest 10, I need to circle my tens column. Using the rhyme, circle the number look next door, I need to look next door to my ones column. Five or greater, add one more. So it's a five, so I must add one to my tens column. So now my tens column has turned into a four. Numbers on the left stay the same, so my one will stay the same. Numbers on the right, zero is your name. So 135 rounded to the nearest 10 is 140. Let's take a look at one more. If I was asked around 2,800, and 53 to the nearest 10, I first need to circle my tens column because I'm rounding to the nearest 10. Circle your number, look next door. So the number I now need to look at is my three. Five or greater, add one more. So three is less than five, so I don't need to add one more. So I can just bring down my five as it is. Numbers on the left stay the same. So my hundreds and thousands columns stay the same. Numbers on the right, zero is your name. So my three is now zero. So 2,853 rounded to the nearest 10 is 2,850. Let's take a look now at rounding to the nearest 100. Because we're rounding to the nearest 100, we must circle our hundreds column. Thinking of a rhyme, circle your number, look next door, we must look next door to our tens column. So I'm underlining my five. Five or greater, add one more. So five is obviously a five, so we've got to add one more to our hundreds column. So now, Four add one is five, so we've got five in the hundreds column. Numbers on the left stay the same. Numbers on the right, zero is your name. So my five and the one are now zeros. So 451 rounded to the nearest hundred is 500. If we were asked to round 9,876 to the nearest hundred, the process would be exactly the same. We're rounding to the nearest hundred, so we must circle our hundreds column. Circle the number, look next door. Next door I have my seven in my tens column. Five or greater, add one more. So seven is five or greater, 
I must add one more to my hundreds column. So now in my hundreds column, I have eight plus one, which is nine. Numbers on the left stay the same. So my nine stays the same. Numbers on the right, zero is your name. So 9,876 rounded to the nearest hundred is 9,900. Let's look at the number 34,681. Now, no matter how big the number, the same principle applies. Because I'm rounding to the nearest hundred, I must circle my hundreds column. Circle the number, look next door. Next door, I have an eight. Five or greater, add one more. Because I've got an eight, I've got to add one more. My hundreds column has now become a seven. Numbers on the left stay the same. My four and three stay the same. Numbers on the right, zero is your name. So my eight and my one turn to zeros. So 34,681 to the nearest hundred is 34,700. Now, let's look at rounding to the nearest thousand. Again, the same principle applies. Let's start with a number, 4,286. Because I'm rounding to the nearest thousand, I must circle my thousands column. Circle the number, look next door. I need to look next door to my two. Five or greater, add one more. Well, two is less than five, so we know we don't need to add one more. So I know I can just bring my four down. Numbers on the left stay the same. There are no numbers, so I don't need to write anything. Numbers on the right, zero is your name. My numbers on the right need to turn to zero. So, 4,286 rounded to the nearest thousand is 4,000. Let's look at another number. Say you've been given 87,504 and you've asked to round it to the nearest thousand. Well, because you've been asked to round to the nearest thousand, you must circle your thousands column. Circle the number, look next door. Next door I have my five and my hundreds column. Five or greater, to add one more. I have a five, so I need to add one more to my thousands column. So my thousands column now becomes an eight. Numbers on the left stay the same, so my eight can be brought down. Numbers on the right, zero is your name. So 87,504 to the nearest thousand is 88,000. Let's try rounding a number to the nearest 10,000. So I'm going to give you a really big number. 1,345,807. Now, when numbers get quite big, it can be tricky to identify your place value columns. So the first thing you could do to help you with this would be to write your place value columns above. So I have my ones, I have my tens, I have my hundreds, I have my thousands, I have my ten thousands, I have my hundred thousands, and I have my millions. Now I've been asked to round to the nearest ten thousand. So I must circle the number in my ten thousands column. Circle my number, look next door. I need to look next door to my thousands column. Five or more, add one more. I've got a five, so I must add one more to my ten thousands column. Now in my ten thousands column, I have four add one, which is five. Numbers on the left stay the same. Numbers on the right, zero is your name. So, 1,345,807 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 1,350,000. Let's look at the same number again, but round it to the nearest 100,000. Because I'm rounding to the nearest 100,000, I must circle the digit in my hundreds thousands column. 
In this case, it's a three. Circle the number, look next door. Next door, I have a four, so I must look at this one. Five or greater, add one more. Four is less than five, so my hundred thousand stays the same. So I bring this down. Numbers on the left stay the same. Numbers on the right, zero is your gain. All of these numbers are now zeros. So 1,345,807, rounded to the nearest 100,000, is 1,300,000. Exactly the same principle and technique would apply if you were rounding to a million. This rhyme can be used to round any number to the nearest 10, 100, 1,000, 100,000, a million, even 10 million and beyond. Thinking about our rhyme, one of the most important things is looking at where we start. Remember, if you round to the nearest 10, you must circle the tens column. If you're rounding to the nearest 100, circle the digit in the hundreds column. And if you're rounding to the nearest 1000, circle the digit in the thousands column, and so on. Next, we must look next door. We always look to the digit on the right. If it's five or greater, we must add one more to the digit we've circled. If you do need to add one more to the digit that you've circled, obviously amend that. If not, keep it the same. Then look at the numbers on the left, they stay the same. And your numbers on your right, you need to change them to zeros. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Please like and subscribe.